Now, factoring polynomials is one of the most difficult things for high school students, but I've got a trick to help you do it every time. Let's say we're trying to factor this polynomial. Now, the answer we're looking for is going to look kind of like this. Something x plus something else times something else x plus something else. Now that you're completely tense and totally confused, let's play a game. First, write these three numbers down. Now in the box, we want to find factors of 3 and 10. So for 3, let's use 3 and 1. And for 10, let's try 2 and 5. And when you multiply those numbers across, you get 6 and 5. And 6 and 5 add up to 11. So we did it right. So that's the game. It's pretty simple, but if you want to get really good at it, you're going to have to practice. Let's try our second example. 5, 9, and 18. So let's do 5 and 1 for 5, and 3 and 3 for 9. Now those multiply across to 15 and 3. And they add up to 18. So it worked. Let's do another one. 10, 21, and 41. For 10, let's use 2 and 5. And for 21, how about 3 and 7? Now those multiply across. And it adds up to 41. So it worked again. Now this last one, we'll do in double time. How about you try it at home though? So, that's the factor game. Now let me explain how it relates to polynomials. Let's explain with this first one. 3, 10, and 11. Think of the 3 as A, the 10 as C, and the 11 as B. Let me show you what I mean. This turns into this polynomial. 3x squared plus 11x plus 10. And it turns out if you want to factor this polynomial, the answer is actually in the box. This diagonal has the first factor, 3x plus 5. And this diagonal has the second factor, 1x plus 2. And that's your answer, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do the next one. This polynomial is 5x squared plus 18x plus 9. And the answer in the box on this diagonal is 5x plus 3 and 1x plus 3. Let's do the next one. 10x squared plus 41x plus 21. This one factors into 2x plus 7 on the first diagonal and 5x plus 3 on the second diagonal. See how easy this is to get the answer? Let's do this next one in double speed again. Now let's go back to our first example. We can fill in our question marks now. Do you recognize this problem? 5x squared plus 18x plus 9 factors into 5x plus 3 times x plus 3. But just for good measure, let's do one more problem. 15x squared plus 38x plus 7. So let's turn this into the factor game. 15, 7, and 38. And it breaks down into 3 and 5 and 7 and 1. Wait, that won't work. It's 1 and 7. Because remember, it has to be able to add up to 38. Take the diagonals. 3x plus 7 on our first diagonal times 5x plus 1. And that, my friends, is the factor game. Now go in peace and dominate math.